According to the Ghana Water Company Limited, the alarming levels in turbidity of raw water from the Pra River have destroyed two sides of the company's pumps at the Setrehimang treatment plant. This has affected the intake canal and clogged up the sump of the plant and reduced the flow of water to the plant. The cut in water production has become inevitable. Hundreds of residents and students in Cape Coast and adjoining communities have been west hit. They have to endure queues, sacrifice their sleep and comfort in search of water. And even children are struggling to cope. Gone all the neighborhood in search of water. And just then we hear there is so well at Bakanu, so that we are going there to get some of the water. We are pleading with Ghana Water Company to improve water supply because we are suffering. The frustration is real. The Ghana Water Company has commenced a 10-day dredging and desilting exercise to improve water production and supply to customers in affected communities. This is expected to help reduce cost of production, especially energy and treatment of chemicals. It's almost water that cannot be treated. Uh, but what are we doing? Now we have to use more potent chemicals at very exorbitant uh, prices. I think four, three, three to four times more expensive yeah, than, than the conventional alum that we use. So these days you will hear of polymer or polyelectrolytes, more potent but very expensive chemicals. So if we had not gotten that, probably we wouldn't even have water. Because of the nature of the water, we have cut down production by 30% so that we can have time to treat the very poor or bad water we have. I'm told that uh, some uh, security men in Western region have assured us that if we can get them some logistics, they will partner us to ward off these Galamsey activities. The Ghana Water Company insists it has to shut down water treatment plant when turbidity levels surpass critical threshold and has called for collective efforts to combat illegal mining.